What is going on YouTube? Tyler here and tonight I'm coming to give you guys a bit of a special video on a special piece of Swiss engineering that I've wanted to make a video on for quite a while now. Recently I made a trip over to a local knife, sh knife store and got a couple of cool things and on the way out I saw this in the storefront window display and I thought there's no way that I am seeing this right. I've never seen this knife in person until last weekend and luckily I was able to get them to a right price due to some stuff that I'll show you here in just a few seconds and this beautiful piece of Swiss engineering made its way home with me. Take a look at it with me. This is the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Swiss Champ XAVT. This is a 91 millimeter knife by the Victorinox company that features every tool just about that was ever featured on a 91 millimeter knife. This thing is a beautifully orchestrated Swiss engineering piece of stainless steel. I don't know how else to say that. I know I've said that a bunch in this video so far and we're only a, like a minute in probably. I'm serious. Take a look at it. Beautifully presented in this very nice case that says Victorinox up top. You see this massive lump of Swiss Army knife taking it out of the box and I just want to say that I don't care how old you are who you are what you say any guy and girls too are just I don't know kind of flabbergasted by these things I think because I remember when I was a kid and I know a lot of people that also agree with this seeing a massive Swiss Army knife or a picture of something of this caliber was just cool and there's something about it that will always be cool. On the front here, we're presented with a LCD display that presents a digital clock, an altimeter, a barometer, an alarm clock, an alarm clock, and a timer, a stopwatch, technically. And then right here, you have a digital thermometer to tell you the ambient air temperature. And of course, the display is also backlit in a retro cool green color. The scales on this knife are a beautiful translucent nylon. They've got a matte texture to them for grip so you don't drop this thing even though that didn't stop the person that owned it before me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and point out the obvious. It does have a chip back here and that is one of the reasons I was able to get it for the price I did. I'm not gonna name the price but it was a steal. Luckily these scales should not be impossible to find. They're not gonna be as easy to find as like a regular 91 millimeter, but I can probably find that and get that replaced. So this is the coolest view of it, I think. Just look at the layers of tools here. And we'll go through those here real quick. Starting from this side out, you've got a pin blade, your main blade, or metal file with a metal saw, as well as a, another texture file on this side combi opener, flathead screwdriver up top as well as a wire stripper, watch opener, a bit driver with a removable bit. You also have your bit storage right here, electrician's blade, pruner blade, pharmaceutical spat spatula. You got some excellent spring-loaded scissors, a very, very, very aggressive staggered blade or staggered point uh, wood saw, all found on, I have a farmer with the same all, this serrated blade. First magnifying glass, you have an LED flashlight, Here's a ruler in inches as well as centimeters, a hook degouger, and a fish scaler. Here you have your second bit driver, also with a removable bit. Following that, bit storage stored right up underneath it. A pair of pliers with a wire cutter and a cap crimper. Fantastic inline screwdriver and your old style 8x magnifying glass. Wire stripper, bottle opener, and flathead. Can opener with a screwdriver, corkscrew with your teeny tiny eyeglass screwdriver, scraper or chisel, small flathead, smaller flathead. First parcel hook, you have another parcel hook. And the difference between these two, this one has a file on the back, used on some models, and this one does not have a file on the back. All with a punch, or uh, with a thread loop. Moving on to this side of scales, this is one of the few knives by Victorinox that actually opens up the third slot over here. So you've actually got all three of your scale tools on this side. You've got your ballpoint pen, you've got your plastic toothpick, and you've got your stainless steel tweezers that are a little bit smaller than typical 91 millimeter knives. And then last but not least, hidden underneath the corkscrew, you've got a straight pen, and that all 
adds up into one extremely finely engineered Swiss Army knife. Potentially one of the coolest ones that's ever been made. And like I was saying, this is something that I've wanted for a long time. I have always wanted to have this. So as you guys can tell, this is an extremely finely engineered piece of stainless steel, you know, and it's it's such an interesting tool and it's going to be an incredible conversation piece and I'm so glad to finally have this beautiful beautiful thing in my collection so if you guys like this style of video let me know um, hopefully somebody found this interesting and uh, if you did I can do more I've got plenty of these things and uh, yeah so thank you all for watching and have a great day